Craig here with Altitude LED Systems. I'm gonna take you on a deep inside look within the cabinet as well as the components to demystify what is going on in here and also what sets us apart from maybe those other screens you're researching. Okay, so let's dive into the components. We have the cabinet. The cabinet is the entire frame assembled together with all the individual components. What you see here is the power box. This attaches to the back of the cabinet. What makes our power box different from others is one, there's no ribbon cable. Ribbon cable is a low quality way to provide the data to your screen and it generates problems. Interference, also points to be pinched and cause uh, damage to the cable can occur. So we've engineered a power box in cabinet system that integrates with hard points of contact, eliminating any type of ribbon cable. Also, you can see there's very little cable within this when compared to other units. And the magic here is these direct points of contact that provide power and data without any use of cable. So to attach the cabinet, which is gonna provide power and data, we're gonna just align the pins, give it a push, and we're gonna lock it to the cabinet. It's that simple to service the back of the apex panel. To take it off, I would simply just unlock and pull it right off. Very little points of pinching cables. Again, we've streamlined the power box to prevent as many problems as possible. Now, within the power box, this is where your power supply is held. We utilize a power supply that's extremely stable. The power supply manufacturer has been around for 10 plus years, has a lot of market share out there um, in various industries, and again, is very stable. This is hand selected by our team to provide you a long lifespan with little maintenance. The power supply being one of those core components, um, after the power supply, we then have the hub board. The hub board is what you see here in the center. I also have one right here. This is where the, um, on the back side of this, you can see these four different ports. This is what's feeding the modules. The modules are where your LED lamps are placed. So with these hub boards, these are driving video to the modules and where your receiving card is placed. The receiving card is what the processor that is maybe at your front of house location is gaining that information from and using it to put all the pieces together. So we have an A8 Novastar card here. I have an A5 in my hand. There's also A10 available. The differences between the RX cards are really in the feature sets from Novastar and which processor you're using. Talk with the Altitude LED team if you have questions on all the various features and why they matter. In most scenarios, A5 or A8 is more than suitable. Only in very extreme cases you would ever utilize an A10 card, and those are more popular in like say, um, studio setups or where you have camera tracking. Typically not a thing we are doing on stage. It. Cards with a little less feature sets because we don't need camera tracking are gonna one, affect the price of the screen and allow you to um, still gain advanced features but not overkill for your setup. So going to the cabinet, we have other components in here, again, that are hand selected by the Altitude team. Everything is custom built to spec with the lifespan of your purchase lasting a decade and not the lowest quality components that are gonna fizzle out within a couple of years. There's a lot of companies out there commoditizing LED screens with the sole goal of lowering the price to rock bottom. Unfortunately, when that happens, lower quality power supplies that aren't proven in the real world, lower quality PCB production, lower quality connectors and generic um, ethernet and generic connection points that are bringing that signal in and exporting it. Every little piece matters because it only takes one small part to fail that brings down your entire visual system. So the cabinet is specifically designed for an install environment such as your church stage, but robust enough where you're gonna be able to install it or take it down and reconfigure it um, many times without any issues. But it's also running the balance where it's not built tour grade, you don't need the robustness or feature sets to be put on a truck, sent to different states week in and week out, being set up in concert environments, right? That would be overkill. 
But on the flip side, it's not the lightest duty either, which you're gonna find just components that will break easily after one or two takedowns. And those are those really low price walls you may be seeing out there. So this is a balanced cabinet um, with, with high quality locking mechanisms that have been specifically chosen by us, materials and, and handles, as well as blackout, so it disappears on your stage. Ultimately, everything coming together in one complete package that is gonna give you a solid, very high quality output, as well as longevity, and that's most important. With our hard to get budgets, right, we are buying for a decade. Um, and that's most important when you're going down the LED screen path. So I hope that demystifies the components within the LED wall. We wanna be as transparent as possible. We have a heart to come along volunteers and production directors and really just uncover all the little components this is being commoditized, and unfortunately with that, buyers are the ones that are gonna suffer. So, with Altitude, we have very close um, relationships with our production facilities. We do travel and visit the production facilities. We work very closely with the engineering teams, and this is all important to bring you a quality product that you cannot find elsewhere. Okay, so I flipped the panel around. Now we're on the LED lamp side. This is a huge area that we should focus on because there are many LED lamp manufacturers out there. We utilize a very high quality lamp that is gonna give you a long lifespan, brightness, as well as slower decay over the life of the lamp. That's where the most caution needs to be taken on lower quality LED lamps and that's where you tie in these low cost screens. It's the lowest quality lamps that cost the least but also have high failure rate, faster decay, and lower lifespan. Our lamps are very specifically selected for very long lifespan. Now that we're at the front, this is made up of four different modules. I'm gonna use the vacuum tool here to pull off that module. This is how service is done. So if there's a, a little issue with a couple pixels or maybe this module needs some repair, it can easily be swapped out that quickly. I would take my spare stock and I would go ahead and then set it right back on the screen and it clicks right back in the space. You could see how quickly if there is an issue on screen that it can be replaced. Apex panel is built for faster setup and takedowns where this comes into play is maybe you wanna use LED panels for creative stage designs at your church. This panel is gonna be the panel of choice because of how quickly it can connect together as well as be taken down and reconfigured in different shapes. So this Apex panel is built a little bit more robust because of that portability and how much you're gonna to be touching the panel. This is excellent for those very flexible, often changeovers that you may have. When it's more permanent and it's gonna live in one location for maybe years, then our cloud panel is gonna be the panel of choice. It's a slimmer panel, it's made to be set up and not taken down as often while you can reconfigure it. It's just built to be installed once um, or twice every few years. And because of that, you do have a cost savings because it's not built with the portability component in mind. 